Here we have a 2016 Honor 16 registration Mercedes Benz Atigo 921L Noon Taurus 900 29 seat executive MIDI coach. We're up in or near Bishop Auckland this morning at Garnets. Instantly recognisable by the bright yellow livery. And do you know what? It suits this quite well. You know, if I said to you I've got a coach for sale that's like taxi yellow, it would probably put you off, but I think it actually suits this vehicle quite well, this, this colour, in fairness. As, for those who don't know much about garnets, um, very, very... Um, Reasonably large operator, predominantly as you can see looking around at PSVR Levantes and double-decker buses. Predominantly school-based work with a very small excursion and uh, short tour programme. But, as you can see, very, very well looked after presented fleet. You know, these want for nothing mechanically as you can see from the bodywork there's not a mark on it you know and I don't even need to list all the features of this vehicle because it's there for you including the fully uniformed driver which to be honest that's a bonus these I'm not sure if that comes with a coach when I sell it but uh, driving out on would be a bonus these days it's not about a uniform just somebody who can sit behind the wheel one thing I like about this, and I'll tell you now, and Mark Noon will probably watch this video, and I'm not blowing smoke up his backside. I think this is a great product. I'll tell you why. You, you can't get a Vario to Euro 6, as you all know. Cheetahs are done and dusted. You've got to have a truck. If you want something like this, it's got to be an Atigo truck, which means mountain climbing to get in, because... The driver sits on the engine. The way this is engineered, it's the only Atigo-based product where you sit behind the engine. So it's actually the closest thing you'll get to a Cheetah or Beluga or that sort of vehicle. Great, great luggage space. Just point out the reverse camera up there. Great luggage space. There is a bit of an intrusion on this because there's a toilet. But even so, you've got a large boot. And I'm going to close these as I go because it's bleeping like hell inside. But you've got a large boot with, with side access. But you've also... Let me shut that one. You've also got a decent size side locker. You can see there's a carpet there for the aisle. But you've got a good, decent size side locker. So... Lots of luggage space, but when I say about it being the nearest thing you'll get to like a cheetah type thing, you've only got one, two, three, four steps in. <clears throat> Where if it was a cheetah XL or if it was um, like an Umvi based product or any of those products that are built on the Atigo chassis, you know, you look at them and you think maybe you should get a Stan Astale if we're more senior citizens and the groups are getting smaller that's easy peasy do you know what I mean so once we jump on board possibly the best spec one of these I've ever seen up to now we've got 29 reclining seats with three point seat belts finished in full leather trim with the extra sort of cushion flaps there wood effect flooring not sure if that'd look better with or without the carpet. I'm liking the wood floor. It's easier to mop as well. We've got a rear floor mounted toilet. That's how I don't normally look in toilets, but I'm curious to see what sort of size this is. Oh, it's locked, don't matter. Vehicle spotless inside. Just to give you the history, it was new to rears up in Cumbria about six months old it came to Garnets and it's been here ever since 
You've got USB sockets in the luggage racks at every seat. Good thing about having them in the luggage racks, it discourages, because they're not in the line of sight, it discourages people from like sticking stuff in them and poking them and prodding them. The negative is when everybody's plugged in, you've just got loads of wires hanging down. We're wired for CCTV. Fully air conditioned, it's a Spheros air conditioning system on here. Don't worry, that's not graffiti, it's just where people have rubbed their fingers along the suede. We're wired for DVD, we've got a dro one drop down monitor there. Also, we have a small hot drinks facility here by the courier seat, and we also have a fridge in the dash just there. Dash is all in good order, low mile is this, 230,000 kilometres from you and I believe that in the first six months of its life at Rears it did over half of that so it's not done a lot since it's been here It's a Euro 6 9 ton uh, Atigo chassis It's got the um, Mercedes-Benz PowerShift 3 fully automated gearbox but do you know what if you want something for small group you know like golf golf tours that sort of thing I'd even go as far as saying I'd maybe drop this down to 25 or 23 some, you know put a couple of tables in it and this will be a lovely live, little VIP executive coach you know the seats hardly look like they've been sat in the worst one really is the drivers you know, and that could be recovered for less than 100 quid, do you think? Don't know. No, there's certain vehicles I get in and they're just that little bit different from the norm and I just think, do you know what? I'm having this. The only thing I would have done differently in this, and it's summer and now, I'd have probably gone for curtains the same colour as the headrest. Because it just takes that little bit of corporateness away by having bright red curtains and that's the only only thing I'd have done differently but as with interiors it's all a matter of of personal taste isn't it you know and I'm not always right most of the time but not always so to recap this is a 2016 Honor 16 Mercedes-Benz Atigo 921L Noon Taurus 900, 29 seat, executive midi coach.